This is the moment Dorian Graham, in the bottom left of your picture, goes to stab Christopher Smith in the back of his neck in a Manchester nightclub last year. It's just one of the increasing numbers of violent crimes now recorded in Britain's cities. In the centre of it is Dorian Graham, who's already got his knife out, and his knife's in his right hand. Is that it? That's it there, yeah. OK, stop. There's the knife really clear. Yeah, that's the first stab. It's all fast moving and he stabs Christopher Smith here again. So that's Christopher Smith, and yep. that's the second lap. You can see him with his arm. He actually stabs him eight times. What's the motive? None. Dorian Graham is a, a violent person who decided that night that somebody was going to get stabbed. Knife crime does appear yeah, more prevalent. Christopher Smith survived. To secure the conviction of Dorian Graham, it took 20 officers four months. While most types of crime remain similar to 2016, today's figures shows the most harmful violent offences have continued to rise. There's a 22% increase in recorded offences involving knives or sharp instruments, an 11% increase in firearms offences. These crimes are concentrated in big cities like London and Manchester. Police figures also show a 9% increase in burglary. In Manchester, crime increased 37%, something the city's most senior police officer thinks is partly about resources. We have 2,000 less officers than we did in 2010, which is 24% less. So, you know, officers are really feeling it in terms of having to deal with more things, having to deal with them uh, over a longer period of time. But the worrying bit is the public are really starting to see it now in, in terms of you know, the length of time to respond to less urgent uh, and more critical incidents, as well as their expectation that things perhaps five, six, seven years ago would have been investigated are no longer investigated because we're having to really prioritise uh, how we use those resources. Uh, they've all got the hubs up, would it be raining? OK, I'm making way right now. Jeff Piercy has patrolled Harper Hay in northern Manchester for over 20 years and feels cuts to the police have had an effect. Many years ago we would have been able to deal with it uh, much quicker because of the staffing that we had. Um, now we, we, we have what we have. So it some, sometimes it'll be you on your own going to ten youths more? Uh, yeah, and to be fair that happens daily. What effect police numbers have on fighting crime is a bitter debate. But while it rages, today's crime numbers confirm Britain's streets are getting more dangerous.